Today we are going to work on counting groups of tens and ones up to 100. The first question asks us to count the bowls. Now type the missing numbers. So here I see we have a group of bowls. They want us to find how many tens and how many ones there are, and then how many that is in total. So let's look. I see that we have a group of bowls on top and on bottom. Let's count up to 10 and circle 10 bowls to see how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here's a group of ten. Let's circle it. Now let's see, do we have ten more? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, that's less than ten. So we created one ten. And then let's see how many ones. So this is one group of 10. Now these ones are individual bowls. These would be counted as ones. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight ones. So we have one 10 and eight ones. And they want to know how much that is altogether. Well, we know we have 10 here. So we can count on from that 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. So a trick with numbers like these, when we have our number 18, is this is our tens place, and this is called our ones place. So we can look at any number and we can figure out how many tens that number will have and how many ones that number will have. So 18 has one 10, like we circled here and like we can see here, and eight ones, like we underlined here and we underlined here. So we have one 10 and eight ones. One 10 and eight ones, when we put them together like that is 18. Great. All right, so let's type that in. 110 and 8 ones is equal to 18. Okay, let's count the clovers now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's one group of 10. So how many 10s do we have? Just one. And then we have just one clover left over. So we have one, one. So if I were to count this, I could say I have 10, and then I count on 11, which looks like this. But again, what do you notice about our 10s and our 1s? We have one 10 and one 1. So here's our 10s place, and here's our 1s place. Wow, okay, great. So we have one 10 and one 1, which is equal to 11. Now let's count our chairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, there's one group of ten. And then just one one left over. Same thing. Do you remember what that was? We had one ten and one one. We can put those side by side because there's a one in the tens place and a one in the ones place. Yep, eleven. So let's fill that in. One ten. 1, 1, that's 11. Ooh, now let's count our ladybugs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ooh, that's why it's important to count them when they're in a row like this. We don't just guess that there's 10 in a row because sometimes there's less. So how many 10s were we able to circle? Yeah, none. There were zero 10s. But how many ladybugs were there? Let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven ones. So when we have our tens place and our ones place, there are no tens and there are seven ones. When we have zeros to the left of a number, we don't even need to write it there. So we are just going to write the seven because we have no tens. We know that there's no tens in the number seven. 
So it will look like that. So we know we have zero tens and we have seven ones, so our answer is seven. All right, let's count our apples. It says count the apples, now type the missing numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wonderful. Did we have any tens though? No, we didn't count up to 10, so we have zero tens again. How many ones did we have? How many individual apples? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six ones. All right, do we write the zero when we're writing this out? Nope, we just write the six because we don't need to tell them we have zero tens. They know we have zero tens if we're just writing the number six. So zero, six, Six. So zero tens and six ones is equal to six. Count the fire trucks. Now type the missing numbers. All right. Are there any tens here? No. How many ones or how many fire trucks are there here? Yeah, just one. So we can tell them that that is just one fire truck. Amazing work. Ooh, let's count the skateboards now. Let's see if there's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. Didn't make it up to 10, so do we have any 10s? Nope. It's a 0. All right. What about 1s? How many 1s were there? How many individual skateboards were there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's always good to double check and count twice. All right, zero tens and eight ones. Do we write our zero if it's on the left side? Nope. So let's write our eight. Great job. So zero tens and eight ones is equal to eight. Ooh, now let's count these. Let's count the cell phones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We get to circle ten. All right, now let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten. All right, this is different from our other ones. How many tens do we have this time? I see one group of ten up here and another group of ten down here. So how many groups is that? Yes, two, two groups of 10. So we have two tens. And then how many do we have left over? Yeah, I don't see any. So there are zero ones left over. They were all able to be grouped into tens. So two tens and zero ones. So I have my tens place and my ones place. So I know there were two tens, but zero ones. So I'm gonna put a zero here. So that shows us that our answer is 20. Good job. All right, two tens and zero ones is equal to 20. Now let's count the dolls and type the missing number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's circle these ten. Now let's put a line under our ones. One, two, all right. So we know we have one 10, one group of 10, and we have two ones. Remember, we put those side by side because there's a one in the tens place and a two in the ones place. What's that number? Yeah, 12. One 10 and two ones is equal to 12. Now it would like us to count the planes and type the missing number. Well, I can see that we have one plane. Is that 10? No, we have zero tens, and we just have one one. So remember, we don't write the zero if it's on the left side. So we are going to put our one in the ones place and nothing in the tens place. So our final answer is one. So zero tens and one one is equal to one. Wow, you did a fantastic job today.